actually. Um, so this is the undescended testis. Mm, this is the undescended or cryptocordism, you know, with um, so this the is medical hiding term in the inguinal area. This one or above the no, the, the usually the cryptocordism is uh, either there are two pathways, no, in, in which is abdominal and uh, inguinal, and the most common um. Masangit siya baba, like um, the, the descent of the testis is usually in the inguinal area. Mm -hmm. So you do orchiopexy. It's just that when you do orchiopexy, it does not still assure that um, the testis will be back to normal. Where is the. Okay, yeah. Because the testis is not descended, that there's not enough warm temperature to for the sperm to mature yeah, or abnormal, or no? yeah that's why it's abnormal because there the temperature in above the inguinal is not warm enough for that no it's test warm test. enough warm enough yeah so that's no, why it's it has to be out mm -hmm. oh. No, no, no. The, 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 the reason of cryptocordism is just that uh, the, descent, the descent of the testis from the abdomen to the scrotal sac is aborted. So it's um, in the inguinal area where it is not being used. So it becomes atrophic. So when it becomes atrophic, the, the tubules will atrophy definitely so we, if the book when you say when you read that the ladic cells are not affected but seem pronounced it, it just means that the ladic cells are the stromal cells the cells that mm -hmm. you see uh, outside the tubules it does seem more pronounced because uh, the seminiferous tubules usually are big because it is undergoing spermatogenesis all the time so you can see spermatogonia spermatozoa primary secondary spermatozoa and then spermatids and in the center is so what's atrophied though what part is atrophied um the tubules itself but you said the tubules is undergoing spermatogenesis all the time no no what i mean to say is normal the normal tubules is undergoing spermatogenesis the normal but in cryptorchidism it's atrophied it's atrophied so what you just see is uh is sertoli cells yeah this is atrophied form. Mm -hmm. So the what normal is cuboidal, are... huh? Or not cuboidal, but no. Um. But anyway, it's, you can see you can see the definition of layers. Just look normal. at the normal testis. You will see a lot of uh, process of the sperm cells that's gonna be mature to. Um, uh, from, from immature to, to to the spermatozoa, you know, uh, and you will see the normal s sperm cells in the middle, like in the lumen, but in here it's not there because only one type of cell. Huh. The Sertoli cells are the yeah. one inside, and the one outside which produces the androgen or testosterone is are the Leydig cells. Sertoli cells just have an anti-malarian uh, property, but the tubules is supposedly there is uh, where the spermatogenesis occurs. So if you have looked with uh, Nolly's um, PowerPoint slide, it has a very nice picture of a normal tubules, where you can see the spermatogonium, the primary spermatozoa, and the secondary and the spermatids you will really see the development and this one it's not defined never you can you, you don't even see the spermatogonium here so what other things we have to I know though well i think for you for you to be able to identify because we will focus on the atrophic tubules mm -hmm. you have to um look at the normal testis first and see the difference but we did um we did show the normal testis in your in PowerPoint. powerpoint it's very different so when when we focus on this kind of um 
uh, tubules, then you will see, oh, that's very abnormal because you don't even see the spermatozoa, spermat spermatogonium, uh, mm. the primary and the secondary. So that by itself is already a disease. So you just narrow it down. That's the only uh, thing that we have in the male genital tract anyways. So. Thank you, Doc.